Uh, welcome to another edition of Star Wine Aquariums. So this is um, part three of um, my dino problem. At first I thought it was bubble algae, but it's not. I've been researching and researching and researching and it's actually dino so I've read my mind hurts so what I'm doing is the blackout but you can see actually some light which is another 10 gallon tank next to me so that's about the only light it's getting so so far I'm gonna do a 72 hour uh, blackout but some people do two weeks I don't think my corals can take it um, and also I'm still dosing five mil of uh, hydrogen peroxide um, in my tank to see uh, what's going to happen. Now I've read that you shouldn't do water change because it's just feeding the dinos and then I hear um, you should actually dose nitrite, nitrates and phosphates to elevate it which is uh, dangerous too but to get rid of it I guess I will have to uh, increase but I am keeping my refugium on and I actually put some chato down there well I had some in there but I'm doing a 24 hour light in there so that may change it or dinos may be in there also I do not know what's going on so things are just going to compete but I will try to dose false fakes um, in the tank and see how everything else is doing and also, I think the changes, the changes that occurred before, because I've, yeah, over four years, I've never had dinos, didn't even know what it was. Um, my flow changed, one of my pumps broke, and so there's less flow in my tank. Um, step two, I took out at least one pound of uh, chato and a lot of macroalgae and put it somewhere else so I can focus on another type of algae to grow. Um, what else have I done? Uh, it could be the local fish store's water because nothing happened until I got something from that lady or it could be the increase of corals that I've never had before and I put them all in at one time took out macro and everything's competing for uh, nutrients or I was feeding probably a brick of food almost daily or every other day so that could have done a lot of things I'm just not sure where the dinos came from I'm about to get another pump from another aquarium I'm not using and I'm gonna set it up in this aquarium um, and I'm about to dose so these are the steps I'm doing right now as you can see it's dark but once you turn back on the lights those things pop up bubbles are everywhere the corals seem to be doing well um, I don't see anything they're still colorful they're getting somewhat light so that's cool, but yeah, I'm not gonna have this. And I also have like 20 more corals coming next week. And I need to get this on the ball game. I can't have uh, this stuff lost. So I'm worried about my corals, mostly SPS and um, Mat Montipora, Acropora is in here. But yeah, I'm kind of worried about the lights completely being off. Also, there's a a thread about making the pH go to like nine. Um, I put baking soda in my tank um, yesterday, and I'll uh, slowly increase the the pH of my tank because because if you do that all at once, um, it's gonna die. Um, things will die. So everything's going swell right now. Um, hopefully the good algae or bacteria out competes the bad and I can get back on track um, but no signs of anything right now except coralline, coralline algae seems to be doing okay too I was kinda like nervous about a blackout for that but everything seems to be doing well the only nitrate I have is a calcium nitrate so yeah my calcium will increase but um, yeah that's the steps I'm gonna do still feeding not gonna stop feeding um, my fishes which I just did right now a couple of pellets so uh, yeah just thanks for watching tomorrow or whenever next week I'll show you some more results and if you have problems like this also let me know because this is all new for me thanks guys for watching Star went out